On the left, you can see a few stories. Uh, they were created by default for you. But let's remove them for now. And let's create a new group called Greetings. Let's add one story in that group. A story is a conversation, generally initiated by a user. Let's start by entering a user utterance. Let's say the user say hi. Now, let's add an intent to this utterance. If you're not sure what an intent is, I recommend reading the natural language understanding section in our documentation. But in short, an intent is the general meaning of the user utterance, and it's a way to group together utterances with similar uh, semantic meaning. Let's speak chit chat greet. Now we can set a bot response to that particular intent. Let's add a second story. Same approach. We'll start with the user utterance, bye, and we'll set an intent, chit chat bye. And when a user says bye, the bot will just answer bye. It's important to note that you need at least two intents to train a model. Let's train and talk to our bot. We got a very simple bot working. Let's improve it a little bit. If I say hello to the bot, it will not work. It doesn't know yet that hello and hi means the same thing. The bot returns a default error response. Let's start by entering a correct fallback response. To create a response without a story, go to Responses in the left sidebar. Click on Create New Response and enter utter default as a response name and any relevant content. Now, next time the bot doesn't understand a user, it will give a plain English response. Now, let's teach our bot some English. You can do that in the NLU section. Right now, it only knows two intents, chit chat greet and chit chat bye, and there's only one example for each intent. Let's give a few more examples. All those expressions are similar ways to greet someone. By adding them as examples to the chit chat greet intent, our bot will learn to understand the variety of the language. Let's do the same for chit chat by. In a production bot, you would at least need uh, 15 examples for intents with only a couple of words like uh, hi, hello. But you may need way more depending on the number of intents you want to handle and also the similarities between those intents. Now, our bot is able to understand more words and more ways to say hi or bye. The next thing we'll do is adding variations. Variations are just different ways of giving the same response. Responses will be randomized, which means that the bot can have different answers to the same utterance and sound less robotic. Get started is a special intent. In general, you want the chatbot to send a welcome message to users when the conversation starts. For example, when a user opens a chat window on your website. Get started doesn't correspond to any particular utterance, but it will be sent when the conversation starts. The response you set will be your welcome message. <laughs> 